Pat there, Chris. I got my Hold it kernel, up close to your my, head. My Colonel Crunch uh, <laughs> chocolate eclair. <laughs> you see, somehow I couldn't resist. You know, that guy, man, I saw him drive by the other day and thought, oh my God, I have to stop that guy. You know, but can you just stop the ice cream guy to say hello? I mean, I guess I could, but, you know, that guy's making a living selling this stuff, man. And, you know, I was a teeny little bit disappointed because he didn't really seem very excited. And, well, who can blame the guy? But, you know, I think if I were driving around that truck, I'd be having a really hot time. Hey, tell me, what's in it? Can well, you read the ingredients? it's cake coated, oh, wow. artificially flavored, vanilla frozen dessert, and chocolate flavored center, which also is artificially flavored. Mmm. Sounds. Now, if you want to know all the other stuff that's in it, then you have to look at this label here. Read about three or four of them. Well, uh, the first <laughs> ingredient is non-fat milk. Uh -huh. uh, you know, not so bad, huh? Yeah. The second not ingredient so good is sugar. Oh, big oh, surprise. Not so bad. The third ingredient uh -huh. is uh, corn syrup. Ew. Yep, so, um, and then we got some palm oil and maltodextrose. Oh, and then we go to the fifth ingredient, which is, guess what? High fructose corn syrup. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And then there's crazy things like propylene glycol monosterols and monodiesclerides and cellulose gel and polysorbate 80 and, oh my God, the list goes on. But hey, guess what? There is more corn syrup and more sugar and coca and more palm oil and there is, I'm really bummed out, there's artificial flavor in here. There's no food in there. But I can tell you something, if you throw it in the freezer and check it in about 400 years, it'll probably still be there and probably yeah. maybe even be sort of edible. If it's edible today, it might be edible then. Well, <laughs> you know, if times get tough. <laughs> Hopefully not that. You time. know, this, I mean, this might this might fuel you for 24 hours. Who knows? And it's all brought to you by the Unilever Corporation in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Don't, don't they make soap? Uh, they might make soap. I think they're famous for their soap. Unilever, yeah, soap and ice cream. You know, closely related items. There we go.